Hey folks, Daniel Osborne here with Web Tools Advanced Corporation. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the American Dream and how to achieve that. Uh, the process of getting from working paycheck to paycheck and getting into a financially independent situation that is both pleasurable and challenging is kind of the whole passion that I have behind doing what I do. And it's really quite profound what I'm going to share with you, but also very simple. And it's hopefully motivating and encouraging to you that the American dream, whatever that means to you, is possible. And it's really right around the corner. I started my first businesses with nothing, no startup capital. I wasn't that very, I wasn't very educated. I didn't have a whole lot of experience doing what I was doing, but I was passionate about something and that was my family. And what I want to do is spend time with my family. Because think about this, there's 24 hours in a day, right? And if we're lucky, we sleep for eight of them. That leaves 16 hours. If we're lucky, we only work for eight of them. That leaves eight hours. If we're lucky, we only spend four of those doing chores and responsibilities and requirements. That leaves a few hours a day at the very most to spend time with our family after our leisure time. Don't forget leisure time, that cuts another two hours out. That leaves you two hours a day to spend with the people you love most in the world. That's not cool. I don't like that. So I decided I wanted to start my own home-based business where I could leave occasionally, you know, to go meet with a client or something, but otherwise spend most of my time with my young new family. That was the point. That was the whole purpose. And then what I found out was that I'm passionate about helping other people get to that point, get to that place. That's my passion. My passion is yours. My passion is bringing you to your passion. My passion is bringing success and fruition into your life. So I wanted to find a financially independent way of doing my passion and by helping other people find a financially independent way of doing their passion. So take something that you love, that you're going to do for the rest of your life for free because you love doing that thing so much. You're going to do it for free anyway, or would, for the rest of your life, you're going to do it anyway. That's the thing I want to help you build a business doing. I'm a business consultant, that's what I do. Um, and so I want to put this video out there for the individual that wants to get to that place but doesn't know quite how to get there. And there's a couple key components that are quite very simple, or excuse me, very quite simple. One is that you need to be the switchboard. Be the liaison. If you have a product or a service that solves a problem or adds quality of life and convenience to the world, then you have something there. Um, and really, it's a matter of just making phone calls and being the switchboard in between two sources of, of, uh, of maybe information and, uh, and product, for example. Maybe you have a product that requires a certain, uh, a certain material. If you're willing to do the research to find out where to get that material, and you're willing to do the research to make, figure out how to get that material to you, um, you're willing to do the work that it takes to hire the employee to do that job, um, if you're willing to make the phone calls and be the center point, the center hub of that project, then you're controlling the whole game. That's the whole, that's the, if there's a secret, that's one of them. Um, so. It's, it's really that simple. I mean, you make you, the only difference between a business owner and an employee is that the business owner, whether or not he had any money in the beginning, was simply willing to do the research, um, to find the people that could help him do the project, make those phone calls, establish that relationship called networking, business networking, um, and then just put the pieces together. Find out where the pieces are, make the phone calls, be the person in the middle. That's all it is. That's the whole thing, truly. Um, another uh, real super easy way of making a business, an actual business concept, is simply to have a commission-based sales program. Now this is hard because it takes a certain personality and a certain type of person to be able to make the sales calls that need to be made, if not you yourself. If you find a staff that can sell a product that you believe in, or a service that you believe in, and get paid only on commission until for the first little while until you get established it's that simple like for example I have a, a uh, an advertising flyer it's just an eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper with twelve ad spots on the front and a few on the back they're a little bit bigger I have a salesperson that makes those phone calls they call every business in the area uh, one per industry gets on that flyer we send it to 20,000 mailboxes selling the ad space on the flyer pays for the flyer so Another very simple concept for a business is simply to uh, find a product that you're passionate about, that you have some knowledge about. Build a wholesale relationship with the manufacturer of that particular product and buy a bunch of them. It doesn't have to be a whole lot. Just enough that would fill even like one of those awning tent things that you see at farmer's markets. I bought one of those once. 
um, a couple little tables to put in there, and I put some products on there, some hookahs. I did it for one weekend, I did it for two days. I made $1,500 in those two days, and I used that money to open up an actual retail location one week later. And for months and months after that, we were operating a successful business, and all it took was a tent and a few things. Um, you can do a lot of this kind of work. Um, a lot of these uh, business concepts are as simple as, again, just finding the product and then finding and getting a calling list. I mean, if you have a good script and a good person that can do the outbound sales for you, uh, if you're not if you're not particularly skilled in doing that that part of the job yourself, then it's as easy as fine. It's as easy as hiring somebody that's, it, that would work on commission. Say your product costs you ten dollars per Bluetooth speaker, and you give the you give twenty percent commission to the sales agent who is agreeable to work on on those terms. The job's done. You just built a financially independent successful business with one phone call one interview okay here's your email them a script you give them access to the calling script and to a couple marketing uh, tools uh, that would maybe indicate somebody that's in the market for those particular products um, and there you go it's really that simple um, there's a little bit more to it than that obviously but that's the general concept so just as a quick recap, if you're willing to make the phone calls to put the pieces together, the different components of your idea, you're controlling the game and you've started a business. If you are somebody that is passionate about any particular thing, give us a call because that's what we specialize in is helping a person take their passion and build a business around that passion. There's a way to make money doing anything that you want to do. Some industries are a lot more competitive than others. And so that kind of hinders things a little bit, hinders the potential growth. But what we do, we brainstorm with you. We work it out. We find a way to make you successful. And it's for extremely little cost. I'm passionate about this. I love, I get fired up talking about somebody that gets fired up about what they're into. And giving somebody an opportunity to not have to spend half of their waking hours on this planet working somebody else's schedule, doing somebody else's work, um, a lot of times with the no benefits and poor pay. Let's flip the script on that. If we were all less greedy, everybody would be a lot more comfortable. If I have a million dollar a year business and it costs me 50, you know, 500,000 to operate it, do I need to have 80% of that left over 500,000 in my pocket? No, I'm pretty comfortable with many times less than that and giving the rest back to the people that are helping me be successful in the first place. If you operate with those morals and those ethics in that platform, Maybe you're not going to have the biggest mansion that you want to have, but you'll be really comfortable and you'll be helping out a lot of people that need good paying jobs. That's the whole point of all this for me. If I help another enough people do this, I'll be comfortable. I might even someday be what would be considered wealthy, but on my way there, it's just about helping people, making a few dollars along the way, sharing some of my experience, strength and hope. I mean, I have a, a successful business already, and it makes enough money for me to be comfortable. If I want something a little bit more than that, I'll start another business doing the same concepts. And if you have a good management team, by the way, that you can trust, every business that you build gets handed over to them. I like to offer ownership in the business to the, to the management team because it gives them a sense of ownership. It gives them a sense of responsibility that's more than just a paycheck. Every business that I own that has an employee ultimately ends up that employee ultimately ends up owning a percentage of that business they stick around longer there's less training to deal with very little turnover um, and that's kind of the concept of it and just to give you an idea as to what we do as a company when it comes to web development digital marketing direct mail marketing um, well I could spend a little bit extra time on this video kind of describing what all we do there but I think it would be more convenient for the reader to see it on paper or on a screen rather go to our website go to webtoolsadvanced.com there's an article there all right on the home page there's a link to it called the american dream secret and it's a it's probably where you found this video and if not uh, this video is on that page but read that page there's a lot of really helpful information on that page uh, it describes everything i've talked about here and it puts it in writing so it's easier to understand um, and it's, it gets in the mind a little bit more. Audio visual is really good for learning for a lot of people, but some people need to see the words themselves and plant them in their mind that way. They get into the subconscious a little bit more, 
um, and then you're able to rely on those and pull that information back up later when it's time to make those important decisions. So um, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Um, say hi to Maddie, that's my co-pilot. Hi. <laughs> oh. You gotta love really cheap cell phone holders. And Butterfingers. Alright, hey guys, thanks for watching. We'll talk with you soon. Bye bye.